Hello everybody, before I start this video, I just wanted to quickly mention that I am now on TikTok. On my TikTok, I do meditation vids, grounding vids, they're really quick because it's TikTok. And I also set up healing grids for those of you who wish to receive the healing energies I release in the grids that I set up. It's completely free. You can join me over on my TikTok. I have linked the handle below at Half Moon Holistics. You can also see the link below in the description box. Join me if you're interested. Love and light. According to legend, an Intuit warrior stumbled upon a stone formation that seemed to have the Aurora Borealis trapped within the stone, or so the warrior thought. The warrior took it upon themselves to break open the stone in the hopes to release the lights from the stone's captivity, and upon doing so, brought us to what we now know as the Labradorite we know and love today. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new and if you are returning, welcome back. In this month's crystal vlog, I wanted to talk about a stone that most people I'm sure have seen. Even if you're not in the spiritual community, I'm sure you've seen this stone. Um, and if you are in the spiritual community or you love crystals, I'm sure you probably have this stone because it's quite common and popular. This stone I wanted to talk about is called Labradorite. One of the key things about Labradorite, and I'm going to first preface this whole video with the fact that I personally did not resonate with Labradorite for the longest time. I only had one piece of it, and it's mostly because everybody else, you know, in the community had one. And I'm like, well, I should have one too, because everybody says you should have one. And but for the longest time, I didn't really resonate with it. And it kind of sat on my shelf and just looked all pretty and stuff. And it is a beautiful stone, um, you know, so it looked all pretty. And I'm just like, I feel so bad. I'm not using this. And I typically, when I buy or purchase a stone, I typically don't look up really what it does right away. I tend to bond with it first. I tend to sit with it and see what its energies um, are and see how it affects me personally. And then I connect with my team to ask, how can I use this stone? What is this stone known for? So for the longest time, this stone that seems to be quite popular and common in the community for some reason evaded me for the longest time. And that's because honestly, Honestly, it is known as a mysterious stone. It is known as a mysticism stone. Ultimately, it can be known as a stone of transformation. Perfect for Scorpio season. All about that. And Labradorite in itself is a very mysterious looking stone. The way that it is formed, the way that it looks, really represents transformation. Many people believe that to be so, and you can believe it or not, you can just, you know, use your own discretion with it. But just looking at this stone in general, the reason why people consider it to be a stone of transformation is because it allows one to um, approach and work through their darkness to get to their light. And you can see within the stone itself how it seems to embody that, you know, persona, the darkness to the light. And that's also initially one of the key reasons why its origin seems to have stemmed the way that it did. And one of the other things you want to know about Labradorite is that it is considered to be a throat chakra stone, but primarily a third eye and crown chakra stone. And if you hold the crystal, you'll be able to immediately feel that third eye opening up. I know that I always do whenever I say, okay, we're going to activate my stone now, and then bam, that third eye starts to open, and it opens fast. Metaphysically, Labradorite is wonderful for meditation and connecting yourself with your higher self and the divine. It's that gateway between the 3D realm and the 5D realm. So it's a wonderful astral type of stone. And when you work with it and meditate with it, you'll immediately notice, at least I do, I immediately notice whenever I meditate with it, how things seem to be a lot more clearer, especially in the higher realms. I use this a lot when I do tarot readings. I use this a lot when I'm doing my Reiki work because it allows me to see clearly what is usually um, blocked because it's also considered to be a wonderful psychic protecting stone, psychic protection stone. It is wonderful for any type of healing work or, um, or readings <laughs> where you need to make sure that you're protected and you want to also see things clearly. So if you get yourself a big enough piece of Labradorite, this will work wonders for you. And just keep in mind, it is 
a wonderful stone to use also when you're trying to go through your own spiritual awakening or if you're going through an awakening and you're transmuting or you're transforming again ascending it's a wonderful stone to keep by your side when you're experiencing such transformational energies because it's going to protect you from all that dark energy that you've been holding within yourself that you need to release but it's also going to allow it to surface and cleanse it and clear it um, metaphysically I know for myself personally when I've been meditating with my labradorite lately I use it also to help protect and rebalance and rejuvenate my overall energy and aura I actually did this earlier and I literally saw what looked like sparks and electricity going through my entire auric field and just completely rejuvenating my entire energy field it looked like a lightning show it was actually quite beautiful <laughs> but you can use labradorite to rejuvenate and replenish your aura and your energy field especially when you've been dealing with a lot of you know negative energies around you again it will help protect you that's what it's um, really good for and if you're doing a lot of readings if you're a reader or you're a healer and you just need to cleanse yourself and you need to rebalance yourself labradorite is great for re um rejuvenating that overall energy that you might have lost because it's also considered to be like a 5d stone you can use this to connect within your dreams and within the fire the, the higher realms you can see anything that might be blocked in your 3d realm especially if you're doing shadow work you can go into the higher realm speak with your higher self using labradorite and say what do i need to see what do i need to cleanse what do i need to clear and a labradorite will help you see that clearly just be ready to see what you may not necessarily want to see because it does speak truth as well it is also a throat chakra stone so it will reveal truth but because it can protect you, you should be able to handle whatever truth and shadow stuff comes your way. Another key thing that you can um, use Labradorite for in talking with your higher self and your spiritual team is when you use it for that purpose, you'll notice immediately how much clearer and um, more understanding you can interpret messages, which is why meditation with it and trying to connect with your guides is actually quite wonderful because a lot of what they're trying to say, if you feel a bit like distorted, you don't fully understand what they're saying, um, you'll see and hear them a lot better when you use a labradorite at least I do I mean I'm not like everybody's not like me I understand but I know that when I particularly want to talk to my guides and my higher self sometimes I'll sit with my labradorite and if you have a lapis lazuli lapis lazuli with labradorite bam you got yourself you know some clear communication going on with your spiritual team there <laughs> um and i've used it and the fact and the way that the messages come through so much faster and so much clearer it's absolutely amazing you have to try it in order to really believe it so um that's another key thing that you can use labradorite for when you connect with your guides and your higher self you'll notice that it's a lot more clearer um the truth is spoken more and you'll understand it and they'll communicate in a way that's compassionate because your guides come from a place of love and you'll be able to be like oh you know what you're absolutely right you know I noticed that the other day I didn't even think about it and now it's just clear as day so physically labradorite does many many wondrous things because it is primarily a throat third eye and crown chakra stone of course anything associated with those key chakras you can you know be safe to assume that anything that you have and you know going on there the labradorite will help calm it down it helps alleviate a lot of immune system issues it'll help protect you from any negative energies from you know upper rep respiratory system issues hence that throat chakra healing method um, it helps alleviate a lot of stress a lot of panic attacks a lot of anxiety a lot of mental inabilities to or you know inabilities to mentally focus um, it allows you to help bring awareness to your overall mind again it's a third eye stone so it helps helps bring that focus back into your third eye so that you're not overthinking. 
Continuing on the third eye, Labradorite can help a lot with eye disorders, mental disorders, anything that be can be happening in the brain area, you know, any kind of brain disorders, because again, it's that third eye stone. You can use it to help heal any kind of issues you may be having in that regard. You can also use it to help balance your hormones. You know, if you're suffering from hormonal imbalance, you can use it to help restabilize a lot of that. You can use it to help aid in digestion you know, if you had a heavy pizza the night before or that evening and you're having severe heartburn, you know, keep a Labradorite around you and see how that helps. <laughs> And overall, because it is a crown chakra stone, like I said earlier, it helps you connect with your higher self and the divine. So anything associated, you know, you know, with these three chakras in general, if things seem off to you, you know, if you're getting sick because I don't know, COVID, you're getting like panic attacks or you're freaking out and your mind just can't seem to focus, or you seem really disconnected to spirit in your higher self, you can use Labradorite to help recalibrate yourself. It's wonderful. <laughs> I do it all the time. Another key thing that Labradorite can help you with is not only calm you down overall, but it helps rejuvenate you. Just imagine, you know, um, carnelian amplified with blue agate <laughs> or blue calcite. I'm sorry blue calcite being used to suppress and relax you, carnelian being used to rejuvenate you. You can think of labradorite as like a combination of those two energies. It can help calm you down overall, but also help rejuvenate you and keep you energized. It's a wonderful stone for that. Because it's also considered to be a harmonizing stone, you can use Labradorite to help balance out your inner imbalances. For example, I've been using Labradorite a lot lately to reharmonize and rebalance my masculine and feminine energies. It's wonderful for that type of work. Or if you've been really depressed lately, Labradorite is wonderful for you know, pretty much putting up a protection shield around you so that you're not taking on those depressing energies and helps rebalance those um, energies within you so that you're more positive and those depressing energies aren't invading. Labradorite is wonderful at also protecting you from yourself, from any negative energies around you, from people, from your home, from anything that could be bringing down your overall vibration. Labradorite will not only cleanse and clear a lot of that, but but it will also protect you from taking on those energies yourself. And one last thing I wanted to add here, simply because it is another meditation stone, because there are so many meditation stones out there. It's like, which one do you choose? Again, go with what seems to resonate with you. But Labradorite, if you mix it with other stones like Lapis Lazuli, it can help amplify that communication, like I mentioned earlier. But if you also mix it with other meditation stones, like say Amethyst and Stillbite, it can also amplify your connection to the higher realms. At least I believe so. Um, I have personally not done that yet. I would love to. Um, if you use Labradorite, say, for protection and to see the truth, if you use Amethyst for just uh, protecting your third eye as a whole and just keeping your overall body calm as you ascend your levels, and if you use Stillbite for just ultimate meditation and reaching the higher realms, I feel like the combination of those three stones will certainly bring wonders. And again, you add on Lapis Lazuli in there and you can see the truth a lot more clearly. I just wanted to add that last bit in in because um, as I use a lot of a lot of my crystals more and more often, I find different ways to use them and their intentions. Intention is always key with crystals. Um, some people say you can't mix crystals, but I don't fully believe that because I mix my crystals all the time, but the intentions are always different on each crystal. So as long as the intentions are, you know, what you hope that they can accomplish, then you should be fine. Because I've tried using a crystal or I use crystals for their own reasons and I use crystals for my own intentions. So do with it what you will, take with whatever resonates with you. And that is all I have for this month's vlog, Labradorite. Thank you all so much for joining me here. If you want to know more about this mysterious stone, you can check out the article below that I referenced a lot of this video from, and you can read more on the stone itself. I know you can go online and find all sorts of resources, you know, about crystals in general, but I found that this particular article was actually quite helpful for me because like I said before, I didn't really quite understand a lot of what Labradorite did until I, you know, worked with it 
it, meditated with it, understood it, and just kind of wanted to see how other people interpreted it. So you can check out that article down below to get more information on this stone. I am sending you all love and light as always. Thank you so much for joining me here. Hit that like button if you like this video and content and subscribe if you haven't yet. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.